G'day. I've been working on a nice little motor tilt mechanism uh, for tilt rotor quad planes. Uh, this is 3D printed and I've uploaded the files to Thingiverse so I just want to do a really quick video to explain how the different pieces go together. There's two parts that you need to 3D print. One is the mount for the actual flight motor and the other holds the servo to a carbon fibre arm and the motor mount pivots under the control of the servo uh, to either give you vertical thrust or forward thrust for fixed wing flight. You can print the servo mount part out of pretty much whatever you like. Personally I'm a big fan of PET-G um, simply because it tends to bend and flex whereas PLA uh, when it reaches the breaking point just snaps uh, but that's partly a matter of taste. The mount for the flight motor um, I recommend printing that out of something with a higher melting point. Uh, I've used really nice nylon uh, with glass fibres mixed with it um, but even ABS would be a good candidate for that. These are all the pieces that you'll need to put it together. Uh, the servo mount 3D print, the flight motor mount 3D print uh, and I'll point out that these are, are intended to be symmetrical so there's the same cutouts and features on the left or right side so you've got the option of mounting the servo either way um, the full size servo itself a collection of m3 bolts and nylock nuts and then two of the 25t servo horns so the first thing you might want to do is just run a three millimeter drill bit through some of the 3d printed holes so then you can mount the servo itself uh, and I've been mounting that with the drive shaft uh, at the far away end from the pivot point but depending on the length of your tie rod uh, you do have the option of putting that in whichever orientation you like. The servo motor is held in place with 25mm M3 bolts uh, maybe with a washer and I've only been using two of those um, but the holes are there if you want to use four so then you want to grab one of your 25T servo horns which should just snap nicely into place in the 3D print. Um, I've been mounting them kind of reverse um, like you can see here. Uh, now the main pivot point is this broader end of the servo mount 3D print and so uh, this assembly will sit there and there's a hole and you just take your 50mm M3 bolt uh, which will then slide through uh, the pivot uh, with an lock nut on the other end. Given the critical nature of this particular joint uh, I've been putting just a spot of Loctite in addition to the nylock nut. Uh, now when you tighten this nut up you, you probably want to go tight enough that it becomes difficult to pivot the point but then back it off a little bit so it's not too hard for the servo to drive that motor mount. So in addition to the fact that this servo horn fits neatly in a um, slot in that piece, I have also made the provision for a 60mm M3 bolt to go along the top here and that really anchors the horn in position so that there's no way it could possibly come loose and rotate, otherwise you would lose control of the tip tilt. Um, this same bolt as it comes through will also be what we use to hold the ball joint we need to mount the servo horn so that the neutral position of the servo, that is the, the midpoint of its range of travel, uh, corresponds to the, the midpoint of the range of motion between horizontal and vertical of the tilt stage. A very handy tool for achieving this is a servo tester. Uh, so in my case I can just push a button to put the servo in its neutral position and then I can adjust that uh, phase angle of the servo horn and then bolt it down in that neutral position. With the geometry as I've got it set up here I've been setting the tie rods up to have a 50 millimeter distance between the eyelets. Um, so one of those goes over that bolt uh, on the tilt mechanism and then the servo horns will take a M3 bolt uh, to fasten the other end to the servo motor. Uh, so I've put a little drop of Loctite on that once again uh, and I actually have also been uh, perhaps through paranoia, perhaps through good sense uh, putting washers 
uh, onto bows. That way, even if the ball joint comes loose, uh, the washer will make sure that you don't completely lose control of the tilt mechanism. Um, so then on this one, I'll put another dropper Loctite as well as the nylock nut. So with the tie rod fitted, uh, assembly is complete. Now the whole unit is designed to slide onto a 10 millimeter by 10 millimeter carbon fiber tube. And there's a couple of bolt holes here. So once you've got your final position, uh, you can drill some holes through there to lock everything in. Um, so why don't we demonstrate how the thing works? My trusty assist, not very trusty assistant here, has a servo tester and he's going to demonstrate the tilt motor moving through its range of motion. So I'm going to be using these two on a quad plane project uh, that I'm working on, but that's a whole different video. Uh, I did just also want to mention that the motor mounts, I've designed those with slots, and so they should fit a broad range of common copter motors. Anyway, that's just a quick introduction to this tilt rotor servo controlled mechanism. Um, thanks, like and subscribe.